Imagine that you are in a beautiful field. You're in this beautiful field. It's filled with wildflowers. You're just completely immersed in, in the flowers. You're looking at the flowers, the detail, the beauty, the color, all of it, right? And you're also noticing the sounds of the birds, the breeze on your skin, all these things that feel really good. And, and that's great. We want to be able to do that, of course. But now imagine that a bear or a tiger steps into the field. Now, our wiring wants us, for the sake of our survival, to notice that there's a bear or a tiger in the field, right? So even though that's one thing out of all these different beautiful things, our nervous system will automatically orient towards that bear, or towards that tiger, or towards what is not quite right in our environment. And this is so that we can do something about it so that we can notice what's wrong and act and keep ourselves safe. But the thing is, when this wiring, this tendency is applied to our modern day circumstances, where the things that are wrong may be something that we actually can't do anything about, or it might be something that it isn't going to help us to notice and keep noticing and to focus on. So we have to actually work the neuroplasticity in our brain to focus on gratitude, to focus on the beauty, right? So we have to actually put effort, put attention into bringing our awareness onto that so that we can feel all the good neural chemistry that happens when we do focus on beauty, when we do focus on gratitude. Because of course, if we spend all our time focusing on, on our trauma, then we will actually be caught in it, right? Like we talk about in the trauma vortex all the time, right? And so it's not that we don't want to touch in there. We absolutely do. We absolutely want to expand our capacity to feel those feelings. But the only way that our capacity will expand is if we also are able to feel, to feel nourishment, to feel a sense of connection with life and with beauty and with what is good about life. See what you can focus on in terms of small things that you might be able to be grateful for today to reconnect with life and to reconnect with beauty in order to be able to make the space to process our grief in a good way. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that's been helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please do post them in the comments uh, below this video. All right, blessings.